Hey gang, moving on in this series, let's take a quick look at yet another loop we don't know a lot about yet, but we at least know what's coming down the pike and might be knowing a lot more on this loop coming up soon. Of course, I'm talking about the crafting and construction loops. Does that sound good? Let's get this. So being upfront and honest on this one, this one's going to have a lot of conjecture, so buckle up. CIG hasn't said much about this loop, although they've hit us with surprise crafting in the last couple patches. With that in mind, this one won't be too long, I don't think. Also keeping with the theme of the last few vids in this series, I've broken crafting up into two broad categories, crafting and construction. Let's jump in on crafting first, since I think it'll probably be the meteor of the two subjects. So I said before that I think science will be the loop that will create recipes. Crafting will be the loop that exploits them. I think that goes without saying, but I'm saying it. Crafting is one that was long suspected, but CIG has been weirdly silent on this one since the kickstart. The general thought among the community, myself included, was that any sort of crafting was a low priority and we wouldn't be seeing it for years. And I'm saying that as of the start of 2023, we didn't think that we'd be seeing it for years. So it was fairly surprising when they snuck the first iteration of crafting right on board the Vulture with the launch of that ship. There was nothing said about it beforehand, just kind of a toss away line of, oh, and you can use the ejector to create multi-tools or other things. And I mean, what? Yeah, just like that, tier zero of crafting drops. Granted, it's not super complicated crafting, but it's still crafting. Get a resource, make a thing. And that's the keystone of crafting. Everything else just builds off of that concept. We always knew, at least since they concepted the Endeavor and maybe the Crucible, that crafting would have some part in this game. The real questions were what could be crafted and how deep that loop would go. These are questions we still don't have solid answers to, but we can at least make some educated guesses based both on other loops in this game, as well as what's happened in other similar games since the CIG Kickstarter in 2013. Right off the bat, we can say that it will be possible to craft tools, since that's in the game right now. And that, at least for the moment, just requires RMC. I think that'll be more complicated in the future, maybe, at least for the smaller, simpler tools. I'll be coming back to RMC in a bit because there's a really, really good chance that it's a core component in construction as well, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I think it's likely that most, if not all the loops, okay, maybe not hacking, will have some element of crafting involved. In a no way exhausting list, here's some things I could think of that would fall under the crafting for each loop. For salvage, we've kind of already seen it. We'll be able to craft tools. I'm not sure if this is a temporary thing and eventually we'll need additional materials or templates, but I would think some element of it will persist into the full release of the game. Not to mention that most of the crafting and construction loop will probably start with the materials that salvagers are able to scrape and munch. For medical, I think we'll definitely be crafting the various types of med pens. That's just the tier three stuff. Will we be crafting cyber limbs and organs or maybe more complex medical tools? Who knows? And maybe that's too far, but I'll keep it at drugs. And if more is involved, I'll be pleasantly surprised. I would expect us to get some like surgery tools or something like that for tier two and tier one injuries. Uh, but they haven't really talked about that any in the medical loop, so until they do, making guesses is kind of difficult. For combat, well, we know there's some Tarkov fans among the devs, so will we be making all the weapons in-game with some RMC and templates? I doubt it. Will we be able to customize those weapons? Maybe? Probably? I think we'll certainly be crafting ammunition for them at the very least, and through that crafting, we can possibly add some unique attributes. We know they're working on non-lethal weapons, exploding ammo, inferno ammo, and so on. There's a good chance there will be recipes out there for making that ammunition. And components for the weapons, make them fire faster at the cost of accuracy, more accurate at the cost of the refire rate, longer range at the cost of handling, 
that sort of thing i think we could definitely see especially if they're introducing wear and tear into the game it's going to suggest that we can repair our weapons and if we can repair our weapons it kind of makes sense that we're going to be able to improve them as well we're getting weapon wear and tear soon so we'll probably know more when that drops. I assume they'll fill us out on a Friday show or at least a Thursday show. For the rest of it, basically just wish listing at this point. Armor looks like it may move towards modularity, maybe clothing. I could certainly see them adding in the ability to craft clothing with special aspects, either more armor, but it makes it heavier or lighter armor that can hold up in the cold. Uh, maybe armor with inbuilt shielding or stealthing. Uh, who can say? What do you think? For merchants, outside of maybe being able to make tools like the tractor beam, I could see merchants being pretty key to both getting the recipes around to the verse, but also the components that would go into those recipes. For science, well, as said in the mild speculation vid for science, I think the science loop will largely be wrapped up in creating the recipes that will be used in crafting. But will science also be using these recipes? I mean, yeah, probably. Making tools, making beams. Probably mostly making beams. Or making beams do things. Because beams. For engineering, while I don't think engineers will be making whole components, I could see them building parts and possibly even tweaking blades. I should throw out there, I do think overclocking and that sort of thing will be a thing in this game. I'll get into this in a bit, though. Suffice it to say that engineers will hopefully be making some physical objects to a system. And the whole thing won't be just hosing down flaming components with beam juice. I could see some manner of crafting being used to tweak components. So think Scotty and Star Trek style stuff. Just being able to get a little more juice out of this thing or that thing. Something that would make a human engineer preferable to an NPC one, in other words. We know the big particle accelerator on the Endeavor will allow for overclocking. So maybe they'll avoid beams in this loop. For mining, again, I could see ships like the Arastra and the Orion, and maybe even the Mole at some point when it gets its gold standard pass, being able to turn certain raw materials into things like tools. That said, they might have to be refined first, so maybe the crafting for mining will be relegated to ships like the Expanse. So there you go. I think a lot of the crafting for the mining loop will end up landing on the refinery side of things, or in the really big mining ships that have their own refineries. People will probably be able to tweak their mining lasers, maybe? That would be kind of cool. But I think mining will largely be the source of materials that will enable crafting than the key loop utilizing crafting in and of itself. For exploration, this is kind of a hard one, but maybe different kinds of sensors or the ability to tweak the sensors on the fly. I'm assuming that will be a thing. Specialized sensors, being able to dial them in with various things you can make on the fly. Okay, so I'm not totally sure on exploration. It seems like exploration would be focused more on finding the things that would be made into recipes than utilizing them, but I could be wrong. Farming, actually hang on, farming is kind of a crafting loop all on its own. Okay, well detour time, let's, let's talk about farming for a second. So in the long, long ago, when the game was nothing more than a Kickstarter campaign with an ever-growing list of incredible features that are in no way just throwing things at the wall to see what sticks and stretch goals, it was probably the farming modules on the Endeavor that made me a little hesitant to back this project. It just seemed like a bridge too far. Like CIG was literally trying to be an everything for everyone game. You like farming simulators? We're going to do that, that sort of thing. It was one of the reasons why I backed early on in 2014 and then didn't actually make a game account until CIG proved that they could make something other than a hangar and a handful of pretty ships that couldn't fly. But now it's looking like they might actually be able to pull this thing off. Like a lot of these smaller loops or sub loops, I don't think farming will be overly complicated and I don't think it'll involve beams. Maybe, probably at a guess water and maybe some soil management, 
Of course, you'll need the seeds for the plants or the feed for the animals. Butchering? Not sure it'll get that involved. Maybe march them into a machine and somehow magically burgers come out the other side. And the players don't have to think all that much about what's going on inside that machine too deeply. So think more like farming in other RPGs. You have a seed, you put it in a suitable dirt, and it grows a plant over X amount of time and eventually produces an edible thing in Y amount of time. Critters just need to be contained, fed, and watered, so that's more resource management than anything. Hey, you can't make an omelet without scrambling a few space cow eggs, am I right? But still, you are taking one thing and turning it into another. So I'll dump farming and husbandry into the crafting loop. So there. For hacking, actually maybe hacking will have some method of crafting code fragments. Huh. CIG has mentioned maybe going that way, so it might be possible. Admittedly, this is a stretch, but possible that we have code fragments that we can craft into hacking tools that are better at some tasks than others. Maybe you can craft a program, and I'm using that term real lightly here because I don't think you'll actually be programming anything. This is gamified after all, but I think you might be able to make a hacking tool in strong quotes there out of the code that might be better at opening lock crates while you might be able to craft another that's better at gaining control of ships airlocks just in how you combine those code fragments that are specialized uh i could see that being a thing but we should know pretty soon at a guess hacking or at least the tier zero implementation of it i am thinking we'll probably be here by june at the latest so let's move on to the next part Construction should be a little more straightforward and less speculative, so I won't draw this one out too far. Best guess, we'll use construction materials, salvage or otherwise, to build the base skeletons of base buildings. And we'll use RMC to build basic skins over those skeletons. I could see other materials being used for sure. A lot of games have construction mechanics already, and I don't think CIG will go too overboard on this or make it too complex but I would assume that we'll be building basic shells using templates for types of rooms. I'm sure there will be options for different aspects of those rooms, like needing, let's say, quartz for large windows or some refined version of quartz. You get the idea. You'll probably need calcite and argonite to make concrete or like limestone. Uh, you, you see where I'm going with this. With RMC and construction materials, we'll probably be able to build basic windowless shells, kind of like the old outposts and emergency shelters, just kind of those temporary shelter type things. I would think that'll probably be the tier zero implementation of construction in this game. Then we'll start getting more complicated templates over time that require much different base resources to create, like, like concrete and glass. For that matter, we might be able to start making our own recipes for building templates. Ones with particular layouts or specialties, the ability to stand up in cold or hot weather, or maybe one day underwater. So I guess we'll be finding out on that one. If we're lucky, we might even see a basic implementation of this by the end of the year. I know some people are gonna say that that's a ridiculous assessment, but I think base building is something that's been well explored by other games by this point. In other words, CIG doesn't have to make it from scratch. They don't have to invent a whole new tech to accommodate it. I'm sure they'll put their own spin on it, but yeah, I don't think base building is as hard a tech leap as say, server meshing or persistence. I don't think it'll be as complicated as say the mining game loop is right now. I don't think that they will go that hard on construction. I could totally be wrong because this team has proved me wrong with that sort of thing in the past. Finally, the Pioneer and likely a few smaller interim ships and vehicles will be able to craft and construct. I imagine we'll be getting a few smaller construction vehicles to make smaller things. So think a little outpost or emergency shelter, or maybe even like a one person emergency shelter, kind of like a slightly larger pup tent or something like that long before we get the gigantic settlement builder that is the pioneer anyways what do you think 
Think we'll be able to make complex things with fancy printers and the right recipe? I'd be surprised, but CIG might eventually go that route. Maybe. But I would hope the Pioneer, at least, would be able to make a kind of room or base structure, no matter how complex. Again, I'm just talking about the shell. What it's filled with is a different question. Either way, while I doubt we'll have actual base building in our hands by then, we should at least start getting some answers to these questions towards the end of this year, so at the end of 2024. And that's all I have for this one, gang. If you have any questions, drop them down below, or if you think I'm way off, let me know that too. See me next time. Mm -hmm.